Good evening, everybody. Conzo Martin will be the next basketball coach at the University of Missouri. Martin's deal is for seven years. It will pay him $21 million. Martin has won over 60% of his games in nine years as a college basketball coach at Missouri State, Tennessee, and California. He was 62 up and 39 down at Cal. He should be able to recruit the talent-rich areas of St. Louis and Kansas City. And I guess that the state of Missouri is big enough for two good coaches named Martin. The other one, of course, is Tyler Martin of Kirksville High School. Also today, Lorenzo Romar was fired at the University of Washington. So that means that Michael Porter Jr., the former Father Tolton basketball standout, can get out of his letter of intent. Here's more good news from Missouri fans. It's being reported that Martin wants to hire his dad, Washington assistant coach Michael Porter Sr. They are expected to talk sometime tonight. By the way, you might want to order your season tickets tonight. The Indian Hills basketball team is different than the last three years as they have gone to Hutch in that time, but now they play better defense and they are very unselfish. I think our guys are really bought into playing as a team and sharing the ball, and I don't think it matters to us who scores or who does this or who plays or, or whatever. So we hope that all 13 guys we have are, are ready to go for when their number is called to, to do their job as well as they can, and if we continue to focus on how each individual can help our team. The Kirksville baseball team has practiced inside and on the football field this week because of snow and cold temperatures. The Tigers are only four days away from their season opener. Are they ready? I hope we are. The weather isn't uh, real well for us right now with the snow snow this morning, but our guys are ready. I think uh, we're, we're going to be going Saturday. We've got to cram some things together at the very end of the week, and hopefully we'll get down on the turf. I, I, we might not be able to get to the field, but we'll be on the turf and be ready to go against Mocaine. The Plato only lost one senior from last year's squad. They are experienced and deep, and they expect to make a statement. You know, you go into day one and you feel like you just are picking up right where you left off with the fall season. Um, so majority of the guys in our lineup now have been with us for multiple seasons. So, uh, you know, we feel like we haven't really missed a beat in that regard. Teresa's up next with final weather. Stay with us.